in this episode of Worth It, it's all about frogs. We're going to take three different priced frogs and put them to the test and see what, which one is worth it. Is the one from Amazon better than the scum frog or is it better than the Molex frog? So we're going to take all three, put them against each other and pick a winner. So our first lure we're looking at, our first frog we're going to look at is the Amazon frog. Now you get five pieces per order and this pack with the little tackle box costs you $7.96 which is amazing. That averages out to $1.59 per lure. Now, Amazon has received 1,620 reviews on this at 67% of them as five-star rating of this lure, and that's pretty impressive. The other impressive thing about this frog is that it casts a country mile. It casts true, straight, and it really goes far. I mean, surprisingly far. For $1.59, if you were just looking at price and casting, this would be worth it. One of the other positive things I found on this frog was that every time I made a cast or every time I was fishing with it, I didn't have to go out and, and squeeze it to get water out of it. Now the collapsibility isn't great, but it isn't horrible. I think there are worse ones on the market that are not as collapsible like the Guggen one, but in terms of collapsibility, it isn't the worst, it isn't the best, it definitely isn't as soft as a scum frog, but it's okay, it really does, it's in that that middle of the road while we're looking at some of the negatives i think the skirt's probably the worst i've ever seen i don't think i've ever seen a skirt that i was so disappointed in. it just doesn't have any fluff in it it doesn't seem like there's many strands to it it just is it's a horrible skirt uh it pulls apart real fast it came out of the the frog real easily so the skirt was something i didn't like the other thing i didn't like is that uh, i didn't think the paint was really exceptional i thought the paint was good but not to a level of what I expect on lures. Now at $1.59, is it good? Yes, but the, all the bellies are white, and I don't know many frogs that have white bellies. I would say the action of the lure is just decent. I don't mind that it bobs and just bobs across the water, but while it bobs, it's catching a little bit of grass, so the hooks aren't, the hooks aren't really that good either. They're pointed a little bit too much inward and they should be pointed just slightly outward and they do end up catching a little bit of grass. Frog fact number one, and I have to read it as the dog goes by me. When was the first production hollow body frog ever made? In 1895, the Hasting, Hastings Weedless Casting Frog was released. The lure was designed by Hibbard Spencer and Bartlett Company out of Chicago, Illinois. The Scum Frog Trophy Series is an exceptional frog. To start, it comes in at a great price of $6.99. Some of the positives include large reflective eyes, great paint schemes, two different weight sizes, and it has by far the best skirt of all three of these frogs. The skirt is so nice, it's ridiculous. It has different strands of colors, it comes long, and a majority of the time you end up trimming it yourself to the size that you want because it's just bulky and perfect. And the scum frog has amazing action. It sits high in the water so it allows for more movement as you either work it and make it bounce or you can get a little bit of a side to side walk the dog action with this fantastic frog. And quite honestly, that's what I'm looking for in a topwater frog. I want that walk the dog action. I wanna be able to pause it where I need to pause it to get those bites. And to be honest, who doesn't like a topwater explosion? The Trophy Series Frog from Scum Frog has extra sharp sticky hooks that are positioned properly. But the biggest positive or the best thing about the Scum Frog is how collapsible it is. This is the softest frog on the market that a lot of times you don't need to wait that three seconds when you get a bite. You can set the hook almost instantaneous and that hook will penetrate. First because the, the hooks are sharp, but also because it collapses down to nothing. It's just the softest frog on the market. And lastly, it does cast very well. Does it cast as well as the third one, the Molex? No. Does it cast as well as the, the first one? No. But it's really close. It's within a couple feet of the first one, the Amazon lure, and 
compared to the third one, it's probably 10 or 15 feet away. But it still does cast very, very well. Frog fact number two, if you're missing bites when you're frog fishing, you need to be more patient. I've got this written down so I can be very specific. Bass prefer to eat a frog head first. Often bass will grab the frog, shift it in their mouth, and return to cover. Average reaction strike is a quarter second for a normal angler out there fishing. Thus, when you're moving your bait around and you're setting the hook, it doesn't allow the hook to penetrate the bass. So be patient, feel the bite, then set the hook. Now we get to the humdinger, which is the Molex Sneaky Frog. And in this video, I'm just using the junior version. And it is hands down, in my opinion, the best topwater frog there is. Now, I think you might put it in that rat category, but it's a topwater hollow body frog is what I use it for. And reason why it's my fave, it's unbelievable walking. It walks back and forth, and that's because of the shape of it. And really, when you start looking at all three shapes and action, the Molex is far and beyond the best because of its side to side walk the dog action, but also it, it will bob and walk too, or just bob on top of the water. The hooks are extremely, extremely sharp. It casts as well as any lure you're gonna ever use. And the reason why is because it's, it's shaped like a bullet, so it has very good aerodynamics. The skirt, while you only get one skirt, is still really exceptional. It's silicone, it has different, uh, different colors to it, and it is long. You'll end up trimming it a little bit. But it isn't two skirts. And the, and the reason why they only have one skirt is that it makes the bait have a better action. And don't even get me started about the collapsibility. The collapsibility is great. It isn't as good as the scum frog. The scum frog is hands down on the market the softest frog there is. This is really close. It's better than the Amazon, way better than the Amazon. And I don't wanna to have to boil my lures. The Molex frog comes in several different great fish catching colors and it really is exceptional. It really is exceptional. And it's another frog where you have to squeeze out a little bit of water, probably get five, 10 casts out of the Molex before you need to squeeze out the water. And again, this is not a cheap bait. These are 12, 13, 11, 12, 13 dollar baits. So you want it to be perfect right out of the box. And this one is as close to perfect as there is. So which one is your choice? If you have to buy one of the three, are you going Amazon? Are you going Scum Frog? Or are you going Molex? There's some positives and negatives to each one, but this is where you come in. You're gonna tell me which one you want to buy. It, which one is it? I mean, they, like I said, they all, they all can do the job, but which one are you gonna, are you, do you prefer to purchase? That's what I wanna know. So comment below and tell me which one you're buying. Thanks again for hitting that like and subscribe button. Yes, that was my stomach growling. It's early in the morning. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Thanks for everything. Tight lines and cheers. See ya.